Hello everyone, Tinge here, back with episode 43 of my Ratchet Clank 2 playthrough. I nearly flew off the edge then. Um, so what we're going to do this episode is obviously wrap up a few Platinum Bolts, uh, because you now I've been meaning to do that, and, uh, you know, I wanted to get some more Bolts essentially, so I also went ahead and collected all the Crystals and Moonstones off, off screen, so we're going to, um, get all the Bolts from that as well, as soon as we, uh, go around and collect all the Platinum Bolts. Now I've got to fly over to this fenced off area apparently. I'm thinking it's this way but I could be mistaken so we'll head over here and see if that's correct for um for a platinum bolt. So I'm pretty sure this is it yeah this makes sense definitely. Now I just have to search around apparently. Alright. I found it pretty easy. Um, all the other bolts I actually encountered a few myself while I was getting the um, crystals and moonstones so that's pretty lucky. Um, I obviously had to look up a few of the other ones because honestly it, like I said, I've only ever played um, Russian Clank 2 once before, so it's not my most familiar game. Let's fly over here and head back up to the ship. I like how the killer mines kill everything. It's wonderful. Yeah, okay, let's go up the elevator. Now, um, what was I saying about... Uh, I was saying something about Platinum Bolts, but... Oh, um, I actually encountered an, another uh, weapons vendor as well. There's actually one on the desert planet, which I was quite surprised to find out about. Um, I don't think it actually offers any new upgrades at all. I was, I've been trying to find the way to up, upgrade the killing points forever, and I can't seem to find one, which is really annoying. But uh, hopefully we can... Um, I don't know. I'll have a look at the weapons vendor while I'm here, while I'm collecting the other platinum bolts on this planet as well. I am... Um, didn't hand in the crystals and moonstones because I thought maybe there'd be a cutscene if I finished handing all of them in as well. So uh, we'll see if that's the case. I don't know. I don't think there would be, but you, you never know. So you might as well just be uh, safe than sorry and just check it out. Uh, let's see if there's a cutscene at all. No, there's not. There are zero crystals remaining. Wonderful. So we got 400,000 bolts. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um, we're going to uh, hop over here to the uh, vehicle, which actually. I should have gone over here and checked out the weapons vendor first, just in case. I'm going to upgrade some weapons here. As you can see, it's right there. I honestly had no idea this was there because I never actually went to this side of the, uh, the desert. <laughs> uh, so there's a bunch of weapons we can upgrade. We got multi-star, multi-star, mini rocket tube. Those would be pretty good, I reckon. Plasma coil would be pretty good. Heavy lancer, spider bolt glove, mega turret glove, shock mod. Um, yeah, we'll do that for sure, definitely. Um... Acid mod for the plasma coil, acid mod for the mini rocket tube. Just increase their overall damage, essentially. Uh, and we'll leave a bl bunch of platinum bolts for um, other weapons as well, just in case. I don't know. I get the feeling that certain planets offer certain mods. Uh, I think that's the case, but I could be mistaken. Now let's enter the ship anyway, and uh, we'll head off and find the last bolt that we're looking for, which is all the way over here, actually. And I found it myself when... Um, I was actually uh, gathering up all the crystals. It's pretty obvious. Uh, where was it about here somewhere? Oh, there we go. Too easy. You got a platinum bolt. <laughs> I mean, uh, I was quite surprised to see it was just. Hang on, there was a. Oh, raritanium. I, I need to collect it. Not really, but hey, I flew right over it, so I might as well, right? <laughs> um. So I'm just. No, and there was one right here too, I think. Yeah, cool. I'm trying to pick up uh, enough rare team to get the nuke, just so I can make some of the other challenges easier for the um, ship levels. I might as well, hey. I'm not going to actually go out of my way to collect any more um, in this episode, unless I just happen to fly across them. Oh, there we go. I might as well, honestly. Th this is easy. Whereas on the ice planet, I couldn't do that so much because there's so many yetis. It's insane. It really is. Um, so we're heading back this way now. And there's one more in front of me, apparently. Which... Um, wow, this is interesting. Oh, never mind. We're not even going to stray off the path. <laughs> um, last platinum bolt was... Actually, I was right when I first came through this planet. Uh, where's the testing facility? Down here? No. No, that's how you get out of the cave system. That's not what we want. We want... What does this take me to? The glider, I think? Yeah, that's not what we want either. Um, that's too far. So what we want to go is back. Oh, I know. Um, that's right. I was like, but this leads to the glider. This is not the right way. It actually is the right way. Um, it leads to the glider, yes, but you actually, um, 
have to go through the area that has the button bolt to actually get to the glider. So there's that. It's pretty easy to do. I, I, I only just missed it as well. I knew it was going to be the case. Can I actually get out of this water or not? No, you need to use the, um, what do you call it? Thermal display? No, thermal disrupt. I don't know what it would be called, actually. Gadgets, uh, Terminator. Okay. Pretty straightforward. All right, freeze that. We can hop up the top here. And I don't know why I never actually attempted it, but for whatever reason, I just never even bothered. This is what you're supposed to do. Lower this as much as you possibly can. Freeze the water. I can freeze the water, please. <laughs> and when it's frozen, of course, you have this platform at the highest possible stage, and you can just jump up here and get a platinum bolt. Too easy. Now I'm going to head it back out the same way we came in and head off to the next planet, which I believe was the testing planet, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. Um, hopefully my shield charger levels up pretty soon. I'm looking forward to seeing the upgraded version of that because it actually zaps enemies. I believe it does anyway, which is pretty awesome. Um, bit of luck we can get that pretty soon as well. Alright, let's Where's the ship over here? Too easy. All right, let's head to the next uh, planet and see what we can do about getting small platinum bolts. Of course, I know where they are as well on this planet. Um, I kind of just should have just suspected the first one. I knew about the the second one. I told you. I said I know there's a spider bot thing on this planet somewhere. Just don't know quite where. Um, and the first one is actually involved in the gliding area, so there's that. I'm not even going to bother getting that nanotech, so I <laughs> don't even think so. Honestly, it's it's not worth the time. I'm already pretty much at max nanotech anyway. Um, obviously, I don't think you could actually make it to max nanotech, but uh, enter the facility. Yes, yeah, so let's do this one first. Oh, good, actually puts me at the glider, which is nice. So it's actually at the end of the gliding path, um, and you have to go as high as you possibly can, I believe. Uh, so let's try and do that. Don't like the glider though. I think it comes back in number three though, if I'm not mistaken. Or it does in another game at least. So, there's that. Alright. Let's turn through here. It's relatively easy, it's just. I never liked the visor bomb gun, so. There's that, you know. Alright. And easy way through here, and I believe it's up the top here. Somewhere. Yep, there, there it is. And I missed it. I got it. Does it count? I would think that would count, right? Well, I guess what we can do is just um, head back to the ship after... Actually, the ship's right here, isn't it? And just see. Um, it should say 1 out of 2 on this planet, shouldn't it? Let's just have a look real quick. Hopefully that counted. Um, it was a bit of a scumbaggy way of doing it. <laughs> hey, it got me back to the teleporter easy enough, didn't it? Alright, what have we got here? Testing facility. 1 out of 2! <laughs> scumbaggy. Oh, totally worth it. Alright, now where are we going? We're going... Actually, no. We'll do that. We're going to pull out our weapons. Our shield charger and our kilonoids. And restock back up again. Because we can... Oh, max down on that. Okay. Haven't used any weapons at all this time around. Um, use the plasma coil a bit. And... Try and get some XP for that. Hopefully. Okay. Didn't need to strafe. Killing is going to kill those guys. Alright. Gadgets. There's a few dynamite things to do, isn't there? On this particular pathway. Which is kind of annoying, but... Oh, well. Now... Let's get the coil out again. Oh, there's too many of them up there. Oh, there's no tank. Oh, interesting. Alright. Uh, slingshots. There we go. Now I need to get the coil out again and hopefully get a few enemies dead with it. Yeah, nice. I, I get some XP for it. Not too bad. Now, oh, now there's a few guys here too. Alright then. Now we're gonna head up here. And I it said I have to look out for a silver wall. So I'll keep that in mind. Hopefully it's I don't think it's in this area, I think it's in the next bit. But I guess we'll see. It. I don't want to fall down there and fight all those dogs, honestly. Um, unless I have to, 
No, I don't think I do. No. Oh, look, there's actually a tank. Surprise, surprise. Oh, it takes more than one. Wow, it actually takes two, three shots to kill. That's surprising, actually. Quite surprising. Oh, I'm not even killing any of them. Whatever. I'll leave you be. Now, it's probably this area here, I imagine. Alright. Um, what is that little room all about? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, let's go up to the top of the watchtower and jump across. Seems easy enough to do. Alright. Let's go over here. Let's get a weapon out. Kill you. Good, sir. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, I thought so. Weapons. Spider bot glove. Do that. Oh, I can't because there's a wall there, apparently. Uh, wait a second. What is this? There's two different... Oh, okay, that just leads back... Okay. Oh, see, there's two ways of getting the, the bolt, I guess. Interesting. Alright, um... Where is this? What? <laughs> what was that? Alright. How do I blow up circle? Okay, cool. Um... So it's over this way, I guess. Maybe it's like dynamo. Dynamo. What's this one? I'll jump across. And click the last platinum bolt on this level. Um, hmm. I think it's actually down here. Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. That was pretty easy. And now we're going to head to... I think it's a Mingo Corp Games level, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. I don't know, I think that's it, yeah. Alright, cool, we'll do that. And click the bolt from there as well that I... It was a fairly easy bolt, but I still missed it anyway. Um, but first off, we have to actually head back. Uh, made it, cool. That was lucky. We actually have to head back to the ship. Which, I don't know if I have a checkpoint for the ship or not. But, either way, it's not too far anyway. It's only a few more areas to go. Um, what I'm planning to do as well, before fighting the final boss, is... Between episodes, of course. Level up the shield if it's not leveled up. And also level up the... Devastator, no, certainly not here, the Devastator, the Mini Rocket Tube, as they want to call it in this uh, particular version of Ratchet Clank, and level up the, um, what do you call it, Plasma Coil as well. I just feel like those are pretty good weapons, so I want to level them up before I fight, and see what we can do about that. Um, maybe even buy the Bouncer, because I've heard that that's a pretty good weapon, so I'm going to get that as well, and obviously get some better armor, but... I was hoping, if I got enough bolts, I could possibly get the Rhino. We'll see. Who knows, honestly. Let's enter the ship, and head off to the Mega Corp Games. Or, should I say, the Mega Orp Games. I think that's how it was said? Yeah, I think so. Alright. Yep, Mega Corp Games. Sounds good. Alright, so. The Platinum Bolt I missed here is actually really easy. Um, requires you to actually just use the Levitator when you first buy it. So, I'm honestly surprised I didn't get it. I should have remembered the Platinum Bolt, but I just never did. Alright, now how do I get to a Levitator Pad? That's the question here. I I don't know if this taxi is going to take me there. It's going to take me to the arena. But is it going to take me back to the Levitator Pad? Or do I have to go through the entire level again? Which would suck, obviously. Um, I guess we'll have to see, won't we? Because there's, obviously there's two entrances to the to the arena, and hopefully it's not the entrance that sucks. Hopefully. We'll see. Alright, is this the one I want? I think this is the one I want. I could be mistaken, though. This is not the one I want. Damn. Okay. Uh, actually, do you reckon I can make that jump? I don't know if I can. It's worth a try. I am not going to make that. Well, damn. Hey, it was worth a try. Wow, that instantly stopped me from flying. That's wonderful. So I actually have to get through the entire level. <sighs> that sucks. Well, that's what we'll do next time. Is Next time I, I might... um I'll start back at the start of the level and, and we'll go through the level and click that platinum bolt. So thank you so much for watching episode 43 of my Rush Clean 2 playthrough. Hope you enjoyed watching. 
I'm tripping over my words here for some reason. And have a good day. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and post a comment below to tell me how I can improve. And feel free to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Alright, um, whoa, nearly walked off to my death. That would have been fun, if I do say so myself.